we they can now talk to the minister of information and communication where himself gets issues with people where he say they defame in character and in family character well on the line now we get the minister of information and communication we are mohammed bangor good morning welcome to the program good morning good morning amir good morning to alunia and that's now also yes. and to start with um we understand you make some reports against some people um, um not the alone police cid to be specific which are exactly yes, that, now you complain yes, yes that is correct that is correct i make a report early last week to the Australian police um to be precise the criminal investigation department i make a report because um, somebody set up a group we call Ranka Politician. In this group, he take me picture, he make them a profile pic. Use all kind of insulting words in that profile pic. There. But that's not the issue. The issue here is this person don't they write dangerous things about me. They cost me mama. It is say all kind of things about me. But I'm not worried with that, Ahmed, because as politician, I know African politics. You can forget the thick skin. For they will be able to withstand the politics of this country. So I ignore all of that. Not until, not until, when it takes me seven months old Pekin, seven months old Pekin, in, in Mama, he post them on social media and he write an article that me, now Kubo, not to me, but on this Pekin, and this Pekin of Fibani, the people when I see this Pekin at Jinja, he post them. I'm it. As a citizen of this country, I move straight to the CID say don't cross the line. This is not about Mohamed Bangura being illiterate anymore. This is not about Mohamed Bangura uh, uh, being corrupt. This is not about Mohamed Bangura just being an incompetent or whatever you want to call me. This is about my family, a seven months old picking hey, mama. We are the not for those politics. So I report my CID and as a citizen of this country, I get right, so take me matter on police. Somebody go and say, um, now because you're a minister, anyone for use that as advantage for let police well, look me, into this. Well, let me say this if it costs me to cease being a minister today to fight for me, between me seven months old and me west in rights, I am ready for that. And I'll repeat myself if it costs me to cease being a minister this hour to fight and protect me seven months old, between and in Mama. From people away to defame them and endanger the seven month old Pekin, I am ready for that. It's not because being a minister. But I want for she was papa and mama, we go want for let them take me seven month old Pekin and put her on social media and question the legibility of that Pekin. I want to see that papa there and a mama. There. And I'm ready, determined to fight till the, till the last breath of my life for make sure she I get justice on this issue. So, um, interestingly, you know the minister, we the in charge of um, information and communication, and the issue of um, freedom of expression. Now, one way critical, especially when it comes to social media issues. I would say people them they do um, citizens journalism. They use them phone, their devices them for um, personal information. Although get your negative in, in, implication, but you the minister, they take people into to, to police now. One go and say you know, they send um, good signal, especially we we don't get previous case of Teresa Boma before now let me t let me tell you Ahmed. the inspector general of police the right before you the records are there make it tell we from what kind of power 2007 to date would i don't put in a jail we don't we they face imprisonment now because he expressed his opinion i will make it tell me how many opposition people and who we don't put in a jail simply because they criticize our government we have a very liberal and open-minded government and a president when they take insults every day in our social media, people they record, they cause them. When they take unnecessary criticism every day, who side they don't arrest somebody because of that? No, we don't arrest somebody because of that. As Minister of Information, I cherish freedom of expression. I have been a victim of, 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 of incompetence and corrupt government who have most with freedom of expression. This is not the situation in this country. The reason why they make we one of the most peaceful countries in the sub-region and in the world, now because of a credential in good governance, political tolerance, every worker for make a country stable. It is not because of a minister of information. And I want to take this opportunity, Ahmed and fellow Australians, to encourage every Australian, when things say through social media, somebody don't attack in personality, where it feels it's not right. Let it report either it's going to police or it takes 
a civil action. The Sri Lankan police has the capacity, and I repeat myself, it has the capacity through their cyber unit. I don't say play over you, but if you then are, if you start to take phone and call somebody and take phone and malign somebody, he gets out with it. But if somebody not report, me report. Now that means today I seek justice. You self report tomorrow, makes you how far you could go. So it is not about freedom of expression. We are on record being a country that uphold the tenets of democracy, and uh, on that record, we will take for running elections anytime. Um, the latest development on the scene, uh, social media, especially WhatsApp recently, now we will see people, um, they do what they call um, so-called radio, where they um, say things to them, and to some people, um, people then people, um, they, 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 they talk to them the way that they consider for be hate speech. And uh, interestingly, one recording there out where you serve as minister, you know, participate in any kind of discussion, and they, you know, you know, feel say, since you defect for then kind, forget clean discussion on social media, mm-hmm. and somebody will be consider that say they use social media for do hate speech and you say they participate in any kind of discussion in the no let me tell you that until the police prove say Ahmed 19.1 it takes part by hate speech there is no hate speech the reason why the IG wrong go on a police and uh, in a studio now for let go clear the air for say no we are not at that stage the police is a credible force we disturb everybody in fact when I don't agree, one or two radio stations, the way don't they take um, what you call um, social media broadcast, it was me, my ministry, summon the IMC commission, for who talk about what in the law say in terms of broadcasting um, social media. After that meeting, when the IMC don't guide me through the legality of broadcasting social media, they don't issue a press release. A warning, a strong warning, that whoever want for broadcast through the internet or social media, they get to go through the the, 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 the right procedure. So the issue of taking part on the history, no, I am not. I have been in, polit- in politics for 11 years, Ahmed. One day, somebody not hold me responsible for saying something will bring problem. I will speak my mind, that's how I am. But one day, somebody not hold me culpable for taking part into any hate speech. I say Mohammed and fellow Salonians, in the APC party and government led by President Anas Baikoma, will they benefit if we get a free fair elections, an election who will devoid from 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 um, bickerness, personal attack and so on and so forth. Because we have so much to talk about where the opposition not get and they want to divert our attention in talking about personality. So we want to get a clean slate, a situation where you who can talk, me who can talk, the people they make a decision. It benefits me. And as a ministry, we are working towards that to make sure see, nobody not will use the, the media as a tool for bring problems. Nobody either being um, um, citizen journalism or being mainstream journalism, we want to get a debate that is very peaceful, centered around the issues, not the personality of the individuals. So the current trend where they go on now with the new um, online different radio people are seeing now online radio that they that they um, broadcast on. Then get rights for go ahead with Dandy. Uh, I ask from I tell you in the next few days you will see where IMC and NASCOM will clamp anybody where they do online broadcast will not get the legal right to do that. And when IMC and NASCOM take anybody where they break the law, believe me, the police will come in. Thank the you law, very much. The full force of the law will be applied. So I just want to let people know, whoever is broadcasting illegally, whoever intended to do that, make you know, see, the law will come and best and tranga, tranga, tranga one. All right, thank you very much, Mohamed Bangura, Minister of Information. They confirm, say, he gets case na CID, who says somebody, they defame in family in a 